guys so we are now in february i had some footage i had recorded for y'all for a vlog and i just haven't felt like literally i feel like busby antoinette i have not felt like picking up the camera i've just been lazy too hell i didn't feel like doing my hair y'all i'm about to take these twists down today because they've been in now i thought i could stretch it to three three weeks i barely made it to two weeks so we're taking it down today Today not doing much of anything. What time is it? Um, I don't know. I think it's almost 10 o'clock. I am gonna get on a treadmill here and walk slash run for the first time. I have not worked out at all. I'm my type of person, I gotta get my food down. I gotta get my diet down because it's counterproductive in my opinion to be working out. I get it, it's good to work out regardless, but it doesn't make any sense to be working out if your diet is trash. So I made sure, I've been making sure that my diet is better. So like I said, I'm down. I'm down the quarantine pounds. I'm down. So now all I have to do is start work out now. So today I'm going to start working out. I'm going to get hit the treadmill. We have workout equipment, you guys. We have ropes. Ropes. I have battle ropes, which I like to use, which I, I did like to use. Last year I purchased. We have weights, all types of weights, free weights and I want to get a weighted bar <clears throat> we have a treadmill okay we had to, only have had this treadmill for a year so it's pretty new um get on the treadmill like i said do some um running slash walking and then um jb's gonna be over miss Lori's house all day so i'm gonna take advantage of this time and record a lot of videos i'm gonna record part two of my story time I'm going to record um, a hair related video and a get ready with me video. Get ready with me to sit at home. Let me tell you something. Him and his little friends have been getting on my nerves, y'all. <laughs> Two of the girls in the neighborhood, or the only kids in the neighborhood who are homeschool, all hang out with each other because they don't go anywhere they don't have any other friends that they are able to see since they're homeschool so jb hangs out with two other girls within the neighborhood when they're all together they are a mess y'all have seen them in the videos this is fedex i have a fedex order y'all when they're all together they are a mess and they've been doing little stuff around the house and i had to check jb and and, and i checked the kids too if you're gonna be over my house you gonna, i'm gonna treat you like my child granted i'm gonna be a little bit nicer but they were running around here in my room look what they did to my bed in my bed playing with the pillows and stuff and then um they went into our bedroom that's when i was like no no y'all y'all gotta cut it out you can't be doing this <clears throat> yeah, I think my order came came in. It's coming in. Excuse me. So, y'all, real quick. Yesterday was the first time I went to a dispensary, a cannabis dispensary. Let me close this damn door. Um, we have legalized recreational marijuana here, um, in Arizona, Prop 207, which is a wonderful thing. Okay, now I could have gotten my marijuana card years ago i qualified for it i still am going to do it because after speaking to several people um the taxes are cheap or lower and i can get more granted i don't think look i'm one of those type of person i will probably use cannabis probably once a week honestly i know some people who do it daily my best friend doesn't does it multiple times a week and everyone has their own reasons um for me it would be for anxiety and to calm the hell down because I have had to, within the past year or so, or ever since we've actually just been in quarantine and then in this pandemic, my anxiety has been all over the place. I had to get on, I believe it was Lexapro last year. It's okay. And then I started drinking wine a little bit more. And so everyone's like, you need to try, you know, cannabis. Just try different strains and it'll help you for your anxiety. Now, some strains will make it worse. So anyway, long story short, girl. Granted, I'm from Texas, so I know what, what, <laughs> girl, please, I don't know, I know what we would do to your body, and not only that, y'all, but the medical benefits, um, if you want to use it for recreational, do you, I'm not going to judge anybody, but me personally, I'm doing it because I need to calm the hell down, um, I also suffer from, um, pain in my legs due to another underlying issue, so long story short, I could have gotten a weed, Oh, sorry, I could have gotten a, a medical marijuana card. Um, 
So anyway, y'all, let me show y'all some of these cute stickers I got from the Dollar Tree that I put in my room. Hold on. Oh, you, you don't need to be loud. Aren't these cute, y'all? These flowers I got. It goes with my theme, because look, see this up here? It goes with my theme. And I got these cute little camera stickers. Aren't these cute? Uh, now, I went through, like I told y'all in my, I believe my chit chat or my one of my something, girl, I don't know. I've been decluttering my makeup, y'all. Because since we're not going anywhere and not doing makeup, my makeup isn't, it's getting bad. So I've been decluttering makeup. Y'all, look at me. I need to get it together, girl. Yo, we're going to go in here and do some crunches or something. Awesome. Now, now, look at this. You, Y'all, this is why y'all don't need to be on, on my bed. Look how big JB is. So you I'm going to be over Miss Lori's house. Oh! Oh, hey, man. God is good. God is good. <laughs> um, well, I was going to say, you know. Also, they have a playground. Yeah, yeah, they do kind of have a She has a huge backyard. I mean, she has a huge house. So, y'all, I was like, oh, I got all this time to myself. I can go visit Miss Wanda. Then I'm like, I can't do that. Let me turn the camera around and sit down next to the baby. I can't do that. <clears throat> you know, I want to go see one of my friends, but I cannot do that because, um... I mean, I could, but I'm not because we only see Lori's family and she's high risk. And so I don't want to be bringing anything over there to them. So I'd rather not see anybody, you know what I mean? And I technically we can, we could quarantine for two weeks after visiting someone. And if I would see Wanda, we would be outside and standing away, but I didn't want to risk it. I would feel devastated if I got someone sick, if I brought something to anybody. So, not doing it. Just, I'll just be home, doing my makeup, doing a couple of videos. Y'all, I got some new gel polish. I cannot wait to get my, to do my nails again. I showed y'all yeah, my nails. Yeah, you're a scaredy cat. Yeah, these are some, stop it baby. These are some pressed on nails. Can y'all see that? They're pinkish like. The camera zooming in on JB. JB, we need to really wash your hair. Oh, child. Hey, you guys. It's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm ready to swing. Um, girl, it's February. My mama's birthday is in like two more days, girl. Yeah, two more days. My mama's birthday is this month. And my sister's birthday is this month. And yeah, you guys, um, this weather in Phoenix is up and down, up and down, up and down. It is all over the place, girl. Um, not doing much of anything today. I have a, some work to do. What I want to do is do my nails. And I've been using press-ons lately because I haven't really had the time to get into the dip powder and all of that. And maybe I'll record that, show you guys how I'll do that. It's the weekend of the Super Bowl. I will be cooking. My hair is big underneath. My hair is itchy. I have not washed my hair in almost a month. So, a lot going on this weekend. Uh, I may... I wanted to do a hair-related video sometime. Yeah, I'm over it. So, I think I'm going to do my hair... I guess over the weekend, we ain't doing really anything, but my floors are dirty. This house, the house isn't, the house is dirty. Things are in its place, but it's dirty. My blinds need to be dusted. The floors, I need to really, really do my floors. Um, I've been just, just haven't had it that time or the energy. But let me tell you about these kids last night. I'm the type of person, I tell y'all, don't go to bed angry, or that's my thing, I don't tell y'all, but I'm the type of person, do not carry over feelings into the next, next day, try not to be mad, but I'm still pissed off at what these kids did yesterday. I'm going to try not to let JB know I'm still upset, though, so I need to watch my attitude and my mood. So, he's been playing with his little friend for this entire time, because they are the only ones, beside the other little girl, um, she's a little bit older than them though. They are the only ones in the neighborhood now that are home. Actually, that's a lie. There are other kids that are home, but their parents are being very careful, so they won't allow them to play with JB and this other, Miss Lori's granddaughter, grandbaby, the one that's getting the Southern accent, because she's always over here. Let's come back over to your house, Miss Vivian. I said, okay, cool. Her grandmother comes to get her. They were here 
all day. They had dinner here, you know, she had dinner here, excuse me. So around six o'clock, Miss Lori comes over and I hear the kids say, let's go outside and play. So Miss Lori and I are catching up and then I'm turning around, I'm like, where are the babies? You know, where are the kids at? And so I go in the back looking for them. I don't see them. Miss Lori's like, I think they're in the in the house, in the um, bedroom. She's opened up the bedroom looking, y'all, we going in the back. I go around and it's dark. Our backyard, unless you have a flashlight, you really can't see and it's a pretty big backyard. Nothing. They're not saying anything. I go back and Miss Lori is looking scared at this point because the front door was also unlocked. So we didn't know if they went out the front door, right? So she's saying, you know, which she, at one point she's trying to trick her granddaughter, said, All right, I'm leaving you here. Nothing. And I'm screaming for JB to come come out, right? And then that's when I see the panic on Miss Lori's face because the front door was unlocked and we didn't know what where they were at. And so she's like, I'm gonna go get um, her father and get the dog and goes and we can go search for them. And then I go out in the back and then that's why I hear rocks and it's them. When I tell you I was livid because JB, rarely do I call his name and he doesn't answer back. I snatch his ass up so fast and I didn't wanna you know, I don't believe in displaying kids in front of, you know, other people. So I tried to hold, withhold it, but I was upset. I said, why, did y'all not hear us? Did you not hear me calling your name? And he's just looking at me, scared. he's scared. You know, he's scared at this point. I'm like, did you not hear me call your name? I told them, I said, this is it. You guys don't get that, I'm, I'm sorry, but you don't get to play tomorrow. If you don't learn how to respect both of us, your grandmother too. You don't know how to respect us and answer me when I call your name. You're not gonna be able to play tomorrow. I'm sorry, you can't play tomorrow. Maybe this will teach your ass. That's why I'm telling my baby. So she leaves and I'm still asking him, I'm like, did you not hear me call your name? I, I need to know. So he's like, well, she wanted to do it. She wanted to hide. He starts crying. I said, we were this close for going to go get the, the dog and calling the cops. Cause we thought something had happened to y'all. I like we were literally out there, y'all. Five minutes feels like an hour. We were out there for about five minutes screaming and calling their name. And they had found a way to hide behind their recycle bin and they were down. So if you're looking around, you don't see anything. You can't even see any feet. I was so damn upset, y'all. I was so <laughs> he cried for a while though. I, I don't I didn't touch him, you know, but he cried for a while. And I said, look, you don't do that. When I answer, when I call your name, you need to answer. Miss Lori was on the verge of tears. I, her face was all panicky. And for y'all to do that and purposely, that's not Hey, cool. you guys, I am back from the grocery store getting all this stuff. Y'all, I am tired. I don't know if I'm going to be able to straighten up like I thought I would. Um... Don't say that early in the morning. Mm -mm. No. Uh, I don't want to hear that. How's your donuts, baby? That's good. Um, look, y'all. When I was at the store, I was on the phone with JB saying bye to him or whatever. Um, and there was a woman that walked in front of me and I'm like, dang, I can't catch a break. And she started smiling and she said, you know what? The guy next to me in the white car got out his car and, and was looking at you. I'm like, what? She's like, he got out his car and stared at you the entire time walking into the store. I started laughing. I said, well, it's nice to know I still have it, y'all. I am so oblivious. I know that men may stare every now and then, but... And maybe it's different because in Texas, they really, the men in, in the South, they really uh, put it on strong. But out here, it's not like that. Especially, there's this thing with, I they always would say, especially if you move out here to Arizona, baby, bring your man. Because the men out here don't be checking for black women. But besides that, I'm, regardless of race, I'm oblivious to men, like, looking at me, trying to talk to me. I am so, like, remember that time I did a vlog a couple of years ago of how a um, bartender was, 
low key flirting with me and I was so like oblivious. I was almost, yeah, I was ignorant. I was naive, that's where I was naive. And my coworkers always say, Vivian, he like is, and because I have a certain image of myself, y'all, cause I used to be a chubby girl all throughout <laughs> high school and kind of into my adulthood. So I never think that I, I don't know. I don't have any self-esteem issues now. I know that I can clean up. Jamie, they don't want to see that. Go in there. I guess my point is, is that this dude, the one that would low-key be flirting to me at this restaurant, was way out of my league, I think. I mean, he, matter of fact, when my best friend came here, I took her to <coughs> the restaurant, and she was, she low-key stopped and looked at him, and she was like, well, damn. That's how fine he is. And so I'm like, no. But actually he turned out he really was feeling me. So regardless of him or anybody else, I'm gonna wanna be mindful because I am married. And maybe that's what it is too, now that I'm settled down. Even, but even when we weren't married, I really am not checking for other men. And which is how it should be. But even when someone's flirting with me, I'm like, they're not flirting with me. Oh, he's looking at my hair. He ain't looking at me because I don't think I have a great body. I really don't. I know that I'm pretty and I have beautiful hair, but I don't think that I have the best body. So, speaking of that, I'm going to put up these groceries and I'm going to do a workout, y'all. I was in the middle of doing a hair video for y'all helpers. And, um, y'all, I caught myself doing a video reintroducing coconut oil just by itself to my hair. hair. Disaster. It's just, it doesn't work. Just, just coconut oil, no. So, I'm going through, I need to make sure that, I mean, I'm pretty sure it works for some people, but just for my hair, mm, -mm. So I'm gonna be using um, my oldie but goodie but true. Look at that. This is the business. Pre-shampoo. You already know African Pride's pre-shampoo. And it's so affordable if you can find it nowadays, baby. So I, you guys, I'm li literally gonna slather this stuff in my hair in sections, do a light finger detangle, and um, pin my hair up. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. I am cooking, let me tell you what I'm cooking. First of all, the reason why you can hear me and I can talk, JV is over Miss Lori's house. And, um. Girl, get to the point. I'm making Mexican food again. I don't know if I wanna make Mexican food though, y'all. Cause I feel like we have it a lot lately, but we're having a different type, I will say that. So I'm making flank steak. And I normally don't make beef at home, but I'm, I'm gonna try to do flank steak. But I'm gonna have a backup and do pulled chicken or, um, uh oh, uh oh, something's a knot, something's knotted. Oh shit. Ooh, do you see that? Can y'all see that? You see that? That really knotted. Y'all, Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know what that means. I don't even know who's playing, but we cooking. Um, y'all, does the camera look funny? Why do my, why do my, what's the names look like that? Y'all, whatever. I am multitasking. I am um about to put these brownies in the oven. Making these brownies, but I like to pimp up my brownies. I think I have a video on this. Um, and I'm putting them in these little cake pans because I want them a little thick. I will ice them and then put pecans on top. I really wanted to put some of these caramels in it, but I'm too lazy to unwrap all these individual caramels, so we're not gonna do that. I got chicken in the crock pot. I got this flank steak that I have no idea how to cook. I need to figure out how to cook it. Um, yeah, I made some salsa. I was gonna make this green, what is it called? Verde salsa, but I'm too lazy to make that, y'all. Cause you literally have to peel all the tomatillas and all that. I mean, it's pretty easy, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with it. I really don't. Um, I'm gonna make some corn. 
when I was actually knowing, knowing that I had to cook for guests, I would wait to, I would have my nails taken off and wait to get a new set because honestly, long nails are, are a little unsanitary if you're not clean, so. Ooh, I put too much water in this. Ooh. Y'all, I put too much water in this. See that? That's way too much water. All right, I know how to fix it. I have cake flour. Just a little bit, we'll fix that. My husband was telling me about all these stories before I went to the store. <clears throat> all these stories of um, people being murdered and killed. And he's like, it's not just one race, it's everybody killing or it's killing, you know, killing people. I'm like, yeah. We, <sighs> it's so sad. People are being murdered left and right. Um, it's really sad. And then they're bold enough to be posting this stuff on the internet. Like, how sick can you? <sighs> we ain't gonna talk about that, y'all. Look, y'all, I need to I need to get into this video. Angel, aka Nezzy Naps, is a whole fool. When I tell you, I was on the phone with her earlier. Out of all my YouTube friends, I probably talked to her on the phone the most. I actually, uh, yeah, I talked to her on the phone the most out of everybody. <clears throat> is she crazy? When I tell y'all she's crazy, she she really is crazy. <laughs> so I'm a type of person I like to I like to clean while cooking it. It's a little messy in this kitchen right now. Uh, here's my rice with the cilantro and lime rice. Oh, sorry y'all. And yeah, I think see I'm cooking early because yeah. I'm gonna put some of the stuff back. I'm gonna put everything but the cilantro back in the freezer, refrigerator, I mean. Y'all, let me look up how to cook this, how to cook this blank steak. I don't know how to cook it, y'all. You know who I be looking at sometimes for help is Food Wishes, cause he can cook. Nacho. Super deluxe steak nachos. That's right. Why would anyone make regular nachos? Well, they could I don't know, child. I know, right? You could be I making super deluxe. Well, let's go ahead and get Am I the only person that dance when they see food? What I have here is a pound and a half piece so of black steak, also known as flat meat. Don't worry, it only sounds inappropriate. Incredibly similar would be skirt steak, which we have tons of recipes for. Okay. You should be able to get either of those cuts at any butcher. I know how to do it. I'm good. I know. I know how to do it, y'all. Oh, there's rice too. 